So it's time for you to change your oil in your Jeep. Now you're under your Jeep. It's going to be a 13 millimeter to drain out the oil from the oil pan. Now this is a 3.6 liter V6 and you need to get your oil filter out right here. It's in a bit of an awkward space to get your hand around. So grab you a 24 millimeter. Oh yeah. Now I try to follow the manufacturer's suggestions as much as possible, which would be the Mopar, of course. For this style, all you gotta do is just pull it out and get oil everywhere. This is the O-ring that you're gonna be replacing right here. Make sure you get your O-ring into this channel at the bottom here. And now take your new filter. All you have to do, snap it into place. I don't typically torque oil filters to spec. One of the many issues on these Jeep 3.6s is that this goose necks up and it's all made out of plastic. So if you over torque this, you're going to snap that thing. If you have the means, there is an aluminum upgrade for this. But I do not have it. We're going to get it hand tight, torque it to 22 newton meters. Me personally, I like to pour a little bit of new oil down while we're still draining. That way we make sure we can flush all the older oil out. That'll be about good. Let me give her a good snug up with the wrench. Should be good to go. Now this is going to take 5.9 quarts of 5W20. Now you want to turn it on and let it run for a couple minutes. let it run for a few minutes I'm gonna to come to your dipstick which is right here on the left focus camera anyway it is just at the top so you're done changing your oil but when you turn your Jeep back on It'll still say change oil soon. Vehicle info go down, oil life 5% remaining. So we're gonna come back, turn your Jeep off, turn it just to the accessory mode. Do not turn the engine over, just turn the vehicle on, like so. Now you're gonna hit your gas pedal or accelerator, whatever you wanna call it, three times all the way down. One, two, three. Notice how the change oil soon went away. Turn it on. Let's go menu, back over to vehicle info, oil life remaining 100%. And now what you wanna do with your old oil, grab your now empty container, dump all your old oil into the new container Take you a marker, put a big X on it. You can now take that to any auto parts store near you and they should be able to recycle it for you. Now you're done changing your oil. It is recommended to change your oil every three to 5,000 miles. And another thing that comes up about every 5,000 miles is rotating your tires. So what I like to do, I like to go ahead and rotate my tires while I'm done. Yeah, I did decide to do this at the hottest hour of the day. I'm sweating my ass off. Got butterfingers, I was dropping oil everywhere, but it's okay. Y'all have a great day.